at the flashlight. We could have probably done with that yesterday, but I'm, I'm not going to particularly complain. I mean, not yesterday, we yesterday. The, the day we definitely did not just die on again. I don't think one issue with this game, the fact that it's not really spawning too much to help you survive. Because we'll give you stones, we'll give you maybe a bit of grass. We'll give you any materials to actually make a house. And these trees around us, but we've found any trees. Then again, I will make a small little cabin, but first off, I do need to make sure we find at least a single little village to live by. Or else we'll probably run out of food and probably starve to death before we finish construction. Oh, what's that? It's... It's more than a destroyed building, it's... it's beautiful. It's like a destroyed triangle. Like a subsection of life. Or a cliff face with nothing to offer. To be fair, they're just about the same thing. Was that a dog? Please don't be a dog. Anything in the oven? Why does this game hate me? There's nothing here, there's nothing to do. I know it's supposed to be apocalyptic survival, but at least you have some kind of interesting nature to it. At least have a town you can be part of. If there's more community you can kind of Breed with? Yes. Like rabbits. Must produce a human race once more. It could be effective, it could fail horribly, I just I don't even know anymore. But then again, after all that we've finally found a less horrifying part of wilderness. And that ta is that a town? No, it's just endless trees as far as the eye can see. Oh, but in the distance, that could be a building. That is a building in the distance. If we get close enough, we can, we can finally have a place to stay. This would be the longest possible episode, just trying to find survival. And we've found a town! This is where we get mauled by the dogs and just all the nasties that don't really want us to be near the neighbourhood. Think about it, the zombie apocalypse is fairly racist. They only want you for one part of your body. The discrimination, they don't want you for your brain. Or just you flesh that too, that, that could work, but... They just don't really appreciate you in the same way that deer would, just hopping around majestically. Like that deer gives no shits about anything but its own majestic nature. Look at him, he's just he's not even trying. He could try and use his words, but no! Refuses to even use them. He just falls to the ground and pretends I'm not here anymore. He gives me a small piece of vase he stole. Although painkillers, I do appreciate that. He's, he's looking out for me in some ways. Not others. Although I would really appreciate getting into that building, because I kind of want the stuff inside, and if I could barricade that, that'd be a fantastic place to live. You know, with the whole survival and stuff. And the lack of death. The whole lack of death is fantastic. I just, I found houses. Places that don't particularly want me murdered horribly. Speaking of murdered horribly, I now stun, so I can't really appreciate too much of a then kind of my slow walking pace. Festering corpse, I've got my fishing weights. I can make bullets out of them. I've got some rags I can actually make some. I can make anything, really. But false advertising, it says it's no, no, it is not. Zombies, leave me alone, please. Unless you kind of give me something in return, such as healthcare. I'd like free healthcare. If you can give me that, I'll let, let you stay as long as you really want. Like, come on, no, zombie. No, we've had our differences, but I would appreciate just at least a bit of help here. Can we get him through the door? Can we do anything really here? Like, would it be worth just breaking these walls down? I should probably turn around and hope that I'm not dead right now, but he's just sneaking up. He doesn't want us dead anymore. He just, he wants to appreciate the world. I see what we're doing, but what we're doing is getting rid of him. I feel like a really bad failed attempt at David Attenborough, but it's fine. Leave me alone, please. There's no autographs. No autographs today, please. Um, I'm an important man. I don't need to be here. Just leave me alone. I haven't got any chicken nuggets. Any painkillers more than anything, but you're depriving me of my basic human rights. Of being able to walk around without being chased by the crazed undead. That's not a human right. There must be something horribly wrong. Come on, anything in there? You didn't even bring me a moving in present. That's all I wanted from you, that's all I asked for. But what did you do? You brought me nothing but yourself. And because some communities that's supposed to be good faith, saying, oh, we appreciate you, so we're bringing you nothing. We expect you to survive on your own, but that's not always possible, not when you're me. Not when you get mauled by the first puppy that you ever see in your life. You get flashlights from all the... Oh. They're not too happy, they're just slowly beating the entire shack to death. Is there anything in here? I think I should probably set up shop on a rooftop so I don't get more than the night. If I can just break down this door, there's not much I can't accomplish. If I keep moving backwards, if I do get a hit, I hopefully won't die as quickly as I possibly would do if I was stuck against the door and I'd have at least a small chance of survival. Although I kind of want some materials so I don't die horribly at the stage. Is there anything in the nightstand? A baseball cap. I can accomplish so much with this. <laughs> 
There's just a fridge in the way. Uh, we could let you into this room, but we'd rather just present it in front of you. We could run upstairs, or we could not run upstairs, because it seems more dangerous that way. Come on. All aboard the choo-choo train. Who wants to play with my axe? I have enough axe for everyone. Have you tried axing yourself a question? Like, why won't you just leave and let me be happy? Just let me circle you. Like, trying to train me. A Jackie Chan training montage. With Bruce Lee. Strolling around with his clone. His stunt double. Allowing me to get better at this entire game and learn how to fight off the bloaters with the powers of imagination and char grilled. And a char grilled what? Can we have char grilled anything? We can char grill the world. We can have char grilled house. We can have char grilled clovers. Realistically, there's not much we can't char on. The one thing I would appreciate is at least having something to kind of, you know, block the doorway with so we don't get mauled when we try and accomplish something when we go through the rooms of the house. Like, you know, just, I do like it. I do like kind of beating the floor and just trying to find something in it, but when it makes me work so hard with so little pain returned, it feels like slave labour. And it kind of comes out as triangles, too. Or pyramids. But the world doesn't work that way. Do you think I'm crazy? Well, probably, yes, I am crazy, but that's beside the point. If I want to be crazy in my own little land of sanity, or lack of sanity, just let me do it. Let me feel accomplished in my strange little way. I put the coffee beans, not dirt, which is exactly why I'm not a... I'm just, well, I'm not an anything. I'm just, I'm a crazed homeless man. Hey, come on. Come on, Barry. I, I try to appreciate you, but you're not really making this easy. Hey, come on. Smack by smack. I want to see if there's medicine in the cabinet. There isn't even a cabinet in the bathroom. Why am I even doing this? I don't know, you're behind the toilet. And we got the vitamins. We'll be healthy after so long. And we're being... We're being survived, yes. We are being survived by the crazed little psychotic prison watching the doorway. It looks a bit terrifying because it's not letting us leave. Like this is your home now. No one else's. We want you to appreciate that in the most forceful way humanly possible. Like, can we knock this down to try and accomplish anything? Is there anything in this building? Anything in the house? Like, come on. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Anybody home at all? It's a desk. I always like my desk at home, except it's slightly a bit too rusty and mine's made out of wood, so it's not like my desk at home, I'm just lying because I want to kind of feel a bit closer to this character. Then again, the character who lived here probably died or turned into a zombie, so I don't want to feel close to them, because that would probably mean not really being alive for much longer, but it's fine, I've got some shady boots. And another medicine cabinet, is there anything in here? Do they, yeah, did they ever even consider the healthcare as strangers breaking into their home? Apparently not. These are not good human beings, and I would not like to be associated with them. Definitely not. Like, who has this room like this? A very, very good person. Someone who has a gun. Now we have a gun, we can survive until the end of time. And red demon pants. I don't know what we are. It's like a wannabe gangster who lost his shirt and kind of lost any kind of hope or sense in this long world. It's the long world. Like, what's in here? There could be anything. It's a gun safe. We have a gun safe in this building, and I suddenly feel a bit more accomplished now we've found it, because it means we won't probably be mauled in the night. Set up a nice defensive perimeter. You can take over this house as our own. There could be anything in here, such as a floating tree. Abandoned rubbish. It's not really cared for, is it? This is why we'll probably get mauled, so let's just kind of look towards the doorway, click E and search away. Then what can we find in here? Maybe a shotgun? A rifle, another pistol, or some ammunition, or probably with my luck, part of a gun that's going to be entirely worthless to me. Like three, two, one, and anything decent. Yes, two pieces of weapon that are entirely useless to me. Well, go ahead and get in my hopes for that. That was fairly cruel and quite evil, but we do have a gun now, so we can survive a bit longer. And on that note, I'm probably going to end it here, because we finally have a hope of survival, so the next episode won't be as dreary and terrifying as I try and attempt survival in horrible landscapes. Goodbye!